watch the second cup of coffee. <laughs> hey. All right, go. That's awesome. So, hey, morning, everybody. Welcome to Second Cup of Coffee. Uh, this is the fifth Thursday in July. So we're doing what we call a second cup reheat. Uh, we have gone back in our archives. We've been doing this a while, so we actually have an archives, if you can believe that. We're, and we're pulling out something um, that encouraged us and we think deserves a reheat. And so just like a cup of coffee you may have left somewhere, you poured it in the morning, got busy, you went back to it, and you're like, I still want that cup of coffee. You pop it in the microwave, you reheat it, and it's just as good as when it came out of the pot. That's what this is going to be for you today. So thanks for joining us. Please subscribe, RCC Second Cup, and share it if you like it. Also, catch us on Facebook, Instagram. Love you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Well, good morning and welcome again to a second cup of coffee. I'm Pastor Elber. Uh, I wanted to share some things with you this morning. In fact, whenever I share, it's always to put tools in your hand to help you in your walk with Christ, but they're the same tools that I use in this Christian walk, and they're, they're effective and they're good. So I wanted to share some of those things with you this morning. I was just reading today in Judges uh, chapter 4 about uh, the prophetess Deborah, the army commander of Barak, the, uh, the enemy king who was oppressing Israel, uh, Jabin, and his commander Sisera. Uh, there was a time going on in Israel where Israel is being oppressed by this nation. Uh, this particular nation had the greatest military weapons of the day, 900 chariots they had, plus their infantry. They had been oppressing Israel for many, many years. And then Deborah, who is the judge of the nation, comes onto the scene. And she's calling for Barak to, to bring about 10,000 men to fight these people that God was going to be on their side and help them. And we read in Judges chapter 4, verse 14, she says these things. Then Deborah said to Barak, Up, for this is the day in which the Lord has delivered Sisera into your hand. Has not the, law, the Lord gone out before you? So Barak went down from Mount Tabor with 10,000 men following him. It was such a, a, an amazing thing. She calls this man to come and gather men to fight against this army. The odds are just terrible because the other, the other nation has got 900 chariots and infantry. Israel's got their 10,000 men, but they don't have much when it comes to weaponry. They're quite primitive and, and quite simple, but they've got something going for them. They've got God. It's one of those things we have to hold on to even during these times. We have God with us and we need to lean on him always. But there was something that happened this morning as I was reading these scriptures. Uh, Deborah said to Barak, rise up, rise up. And as I was sitting in my chair, I began hearing even in my heart, rise up, rise up. It's a prophetic enactment. We see this in scripture oftentimes, Ezekiel digging through a wall, Jeremiah bearing a sash. Um, uh, Elisha instructing the king of Israel to shoot arrows. That was an amazing thing. He said, shoot arrows. And the, the king shot arrows out the window. And Elisha said, you'll have victory over your enemy. Then he tells him, beat the arrows on the ground. And he beat them three times. And the prophet went crazy saying, why didn't you beat the ground more often? Because at that point, you would have defeated your enemy completely. But now you only have three victories. Prophetic enactments. And so this morning, I rose up from where I was sitting in the midst of even hearing this word, because we live in a difficult time and we need deliverance. We're going through a time of, of, of just uh, uh, desperation for some with this COVID-19 virus. It's a terrible thing that is happening. We need God's deliverance and God is our hope. God is our deliverer. The word of God, I find, is living and active. And when we read it, it's not just history. It rises up into our hearts. It begins to put tools in our hands that we can use, which is why I rose up at that point. When I hear that word rise up, I rise up in faith. I begin to cry out for God's deliverance. Let me finish the story quickly for you. Verse 15, and the Lord routed Sisera. You see, Barak, he rose up and the Lord routed Sisera and all of his chariots and all of his army with the edge of the sword. And Sisera alighted from his chariot and fled away on foot. In these days, we need God's help. We need God's deliverance. 
These are the times that we cry out to him and that God comes to our aid. Can we pray together, not only for our own need, but can we pray together for the nation? Our nation needs our prayers. The world needs our prayers. We have brothers and sisters in Africa whose suffering uh, overshadows anything that we're going through. Let's be a people of prayer. Let's be a people who rise up. God bless you. Thank you.